You're listening. No, I'm right here. She says, an area with a price to rent ratio that's less than 22 and you plan to stay in for a while is worth owning. Anything above that threshold, rent and invest the difference. All right. Um, price to rent ratio. I stopped listening less, as soon as you said that. Price to rent ratio <laughs> of 22. Is there a, there's a pen on the corner over there. Um, Jesus Christ, are, are these people who are reading Morning Brew more sophisticated than you and I when it comes to real estate? So if the price, let's just pull, is a million dollars and the rent is $3,000, so th we're going to say 36 over a million, so that would put it at 36%. So what she's saying is that price to rent ratio is less than 22 than buy. In this situation, the rent would be too high. So if you're planning on buying for a million dollars, if you're going to be spending less than 2200 you should be buying. You should be buying if the rent, the price to rent ratio is less than 22. Do we have any, like, Chris? Where are you, Chris? Like anyone smart in the office? I've never heard of the price to rent ratio. And you went to Madison, right? I mean, where'd you go, Colorado? Is that a, not a good school? It's fine. I didn't attend so many classes. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I am thinking about it the right way. If so, I think she's talking about the area at large. So let's let's actually look at it this way. I don't know. So I know for certain that in the Chicagoland area, the average price point is right around four hundred thousand. I would say the average rent is eighteen hundred, kind of across the board, more or less. Seems low. Nah, because you got to take into account like you have to head yeah, further yeah, west, head a little further. Okay, yeah. yeah, head a little further south. So it's for sure higher. It's higher than twenty two. So don't buy in Chicago. Is that what Katie's saying? So we have another pro renter. Yeah, rent. So she's saying rent and take any excess money, and this is kind of what you're doing, right? This is kind of, this is this is you. You may believe, given whatever metrics that you are using to determine whether you should rent or buy, mm -hmm. you may believe that it's better to rent and invest the difference. That's exactly what you're doing. Correct. Um, obviously, you have some other considerations at play. I would, and I would imagine our typical viewer has more considerations than myself. That's why none of this, I mean, I get it. We're trying to take one, we're giving these, these very smart, we're teasing, these are great individuals um, the opportunity to, to give one sentence on a very, very difficult question. Yeah, no.